So here I have an error occurred while checking for missing data in the group, group number one, no valid license for Amos was found 11 zero. Suppose that I have uh, encountered this issue, an error occurred while checking for missing data. What shall I do? I need simply to just uh, uh, click OK or just uh, close it. And then I will need to save this output or this Amos file. And I need to go back to it here, open it, my desktop or the folder where I saved it. And I will rerun re the model and it will work. You see, it is as simple as this. Just Amos just gives these errors like that sometimes. So here I have run the estimates. I can go to the uh, estimate, like uh, analysis properties to run uh, more, uh, let's say, detailed, let's say, uh, analysis. So if I just go to analyze, then calculate estimates, I can start the calculation. You see, but there are also properties uh, analysis properties where I can just choose what I want. So here, analysis properties, and I need to choose, for example, maximum likelihood. Then, if depending on the discrepancy, I can choose generalized the list squares, annuated list squares, scale-free list squares, and asymptotically distribution-free. I can just keep this maximum likelihood. In case I have some missing values or missing data, I can click estimate mains and intercepts. But since I don't have uh, missing values, I don't need that. Here, for the purpose of computing fit measures with incomplete data, fit the saturated and independence models, fit the saturated model only, and fit neither model. I don't need to click anything here, I just keep it by default. And here in the output, I need to see what I want to have in the output. So I want to, to have modification fit indices, or modification indices in case the, um, the fit is not good. Of course, it may not be good in the first place. So here I need to set this at 4 as a threshold. I can also choose other... Uh, let's say uh, parameters I want or other statistics I want to have in my outputs. Let's say I want to have uh, standardized estimates, squared multiple correlations. And if I'm just running the path model or the um, structural model that contains mediators, or rather moderators, I could just also choose indirect, direct and total effects, especially for mediators. And here I can choose covariances of estimates, correlations of estimates, etc. Uh, so I will just keep these by default like that and I click close and then I will run the analysis, calculate estimates. And here you see we have this icon which is the input, this one is the output, so I just need to click this. And here I will see the correlations among the uh, variables or the constructs, the higher they are, um, etc. So that will just help us with regard to what we call with, uh, to, to discriminant and convergent validity, and these are the loadings. And here I could see the unstandardized estimates and standardized estimates. So I need to have the standardized estimates. These are the ones reported for EPA, and you can see here the standardized estimates. Most of them have high correlation uh, coefficients, more than 70%, which is positive. And these are the factor loadings that we saw on SPSS, you see. So these are simply the factor loadings that we got from here. These numbers. So these numbers are here, uh, they are just uh, visualized here.